Hey folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, the game that's going to make me get to bed late and have a hard time at work tomorrow. I'm a serious JG, and I didn't think I'd get quite this close to the end of the game with this recording session, so it's kind of hard to cut it off. But this may be like the last video, second to last, I don't know. We still haven't done anything about the optional super bosses. I have really decided 100% for sure if we're going to do anything with them. There's only two of them, and they are palette swaps of regular monsters with obscurely, like unreasonably high stats. But, um, we're just kind of looking around in this super cool space station slash circuit board here, and... want to make sure I don't miss anything really cool. We may have just missed something really cool. Because there was a little path we didn't explore in the other direction, but no, I think, I think this is... Ogar. Basically coming here as a favor for you, buddy. I don't want to meet this freaking goddess anyway. Ray, Nina, Momo, Guardian Gar, and Avatar. Oh, you're forgetting Pico. My brave, strong children, who have crossed the violent ocean and the burning desert. I am Miria, and I have awesome theme music. O oh, great and mighty goddess, we have journeyed far seeking you that we might know the truth. <laughs> Ray is disgusted by this. O oh, goddess, tell us, why did the brood have to be destroyed? Don't question me! Is there anyone who wishes the destruction of life? I certainly do not. However, the power of the brood was too great. Too great for my small, small world. Where only I get to have super awesome power. As you know, this side of the world is almost entirely buried by sand, making it almost impossible for anything to survive, except for the one locks of the sea, the captain of the king's navy. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry about that. Bad dates. Life has been driven nearly to extinction. Yes, he is evidence by these trees. I have to preserve what little is left. I had to save the rest of the world from the danger called the Brood. Oh wow, she must be Lita. She's leading the Hardy Boys against the Brood. So what you're saying is, if that don't beat all, we should just sit back and let you take care of us. Like we were your babies or something, right? But you don't need to be like that about it. Exactly, Ray. If I did not hold it back using the outer sea as a shield, the desert would slowly, inevitably spread across the entire world. Spread? Spread across the entire world, Farmer. If I did not continue to create the machines that are repaired and used worldwide, civilization as we know it would surely perish. Not sure I follow her on that one. But, while we don't have the means now, someday we might be able to build our own machines. Mm -mm -mm. If the world were covered by sand, your lives would be consumed with the struggle to survive. You would not be able to build anything. So shut up. Even if you succeeded in creating the machines you needed, can you say with certainty that you would not also build a weapon with which you might also destroy yourselves, Momo? Well, that's a good point. I'll, I'll grant you that one. Too. 
in the past. This world was large. The game would have given you an airship with which to explore. <laughs> but not in this game. Larger than you can imagine. Bigger than my knockers. Many people once lived here in Kaijan, or whatever the hell this place is called. But the people fought and quarreled. And the city was swallowed by the desert. They all became lost in the mystery of the desert. Who? I was unable to protect them. I will not make the same mistake again. I will protect you and all the life that is left. I understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> you sound like Wayne, you know. We are weak, and maybe we do need help and protection. You're weak. And the power of the brood may be similar to the power that destroyed the city so long ago. It's not. It was destroyed by, like, fossil fuels or something. Although I guess the uh, brood do burn coal. But what are you saying we should do? Are you saying that Avatar must die? Um, I didn't mention that, but now that you say it, that's a good idea, Nina. Or that he has to spend the rest of his life locked up in some little room? In an artificial world? No, I didn't say anything about... I don't know where you're getting that. Like Tipo? Oh, poor Tipo. No kidding. What the hell did you do that to Tipo for? I don't like the fact that this is all being controlled by you. That you're pulling all the strings. I'm just like a little kid, see? Oh, he wants to fight the goddess. If you tell me to sit still, it just makes me want to run around more, yeah? Jump on the bed, that kind of thing. Jump on the bed with you. Oh, goddess, please don't listen to these idiots. We have no desire to give Avatar up to you. She didn't ask them to, nor do we wish to see him killed. Whoa, even guards ready to... Wow! Yeah, they guys want to mix it up. Having traveled with him, I can say that... I do not believe that the power of the brood is as fearsome and dangerous as you claim it to be. I'm shocked that nearly the entire world is covered by sand, but with avatars, with our power working together, the avatars got incredible sand removal power. Then maybe, just maybe. Well, maybe, you know, something. Enough, my children. You're going down. I admire your bravery and courage. Except for you, Ray. Ray. Oh, shit, here we go. This is where she turns heel. She was a tweener up until now. There is no need to worry. I will erase your memories of this place and simply... Return you to where you belong, Momo. What about... Uh, Pico? My strength is admittedly small, but it is all you have to live with. Do you understand, Nina? Uh, well, wait a minute, I... I'm not gonna remember this anyway, so why'd you ask? Avatar is frozen. Thank you for bringing Avatar here. Guardian Gar, your mission is now complete. What's the deal with Tipo? Tipo's bringing him back. Tipo, I didn't hit, give him enough credit. Oh, Pico. <laughs> Not Tipo. <laughs> really didn't give him credit. I didn't even get his name right. <laughs> what about me, Miria? You didn't call my name. <laughs> uh, don't you know who I am? No, no idea. Hey, this is JG. You, you're Yagdrasil. <laughs> you won't be able to get away with this. And not while I'm around. 
All I'm doing is leading my children by the hand, giving them a world they can live in. <laughs> Miria. These so-called children crossed the entire world to get here and overcame the myriad barriers that you set before them. <laughs> All for the sake of helping their friend, Avatar, find his destiny. Avatar, is this true? <laughs> Very well. We will let Avatar decide. What do you want to do? If you give up your power, the world will continue to live under my protection, as it has until now. Your power, which has brought you here, is too big for the world. Let's take care of the world! Like the other brood once did. Accept your fate. My avatar. You know, Avatar and uh, Miria have a history. Uh, as far as like, you know, Avatar slash Ryu, the dragon chosen one child. And he ain't usually one to just give in to what she demands. Oh, we can talk to everybody else. Spooky Avatar. You have to believe in yourself and Sailor Moon. <laughs> Crazy tuxedo mask. I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Believe in yourself, Sailor Moon. Tuxedo mask on crack. In you, Pooh. To tell the truth, I'm really frightened. We're not strong at all. Huh? No, we're strong. Dude, check this out. Bench presses her. If you go against fate, something awful might happen to the world. But... I've always believed you weren't a bad dragon. I'll always believe that, no matter what happens. Dude, I could do some pretty seriously bad dragon stuff to you. <laughs> oh, Momo, you'll actually be part of the final party. What do you have to say? I only know how to fix machines, you know. But we can dig up those machines, even if they're buried under a desert, and learn from them. Even if the world is covered in sand. We'd still be able to do something, as long as we don't give up, right? Looks like I'm going to have to stop the video and save state so we can give in to her demands. Uh, and then paste this together for multiple pieces, but, you know, it's a small sacrifice, because I think we're about to end the game. Hmm. I brought you here simply because I wanted to know the truth about my own actions. It may have been a selfish reason. It was. But I've learned one thing from all this. Now more than Miria, I trust you, Avatar. That's sweet. Excuse me, it doesn't make a lot of sense, though. I mean, Avatar... Hasn't really done all that much as a leader. I mean, Gar has been kind of the, lead, the leader of the group. <laughs> if that don't... No, sorry, it doesn't actually say that. It's because of all that nonsense she's going on about that Tifo ended up the way he did. Yes! Good point. This is one reason we won't take her ass down. She messed with my brother. That's the one thing I can't forgive. Genocide? No problem. <laughs> That's with the brother. Not that cool, even if it is. In the case of Ray and Tifo, a brother from another mother. Alright, well, I'm going to have to stop the recording so that I can uh, go see what the bad ending is when you give in to her demands, because I have to imagine that's a bad ending. Uh, and then we'll come back. So... Yeah, sadly, I'm going to have to do this as three... Well, let's see. Can I do function F8? Ah! Yes, okay, I can save and then do this wrong, and then uh, I'll have to break the video when I load state, because loading state will break the video. So, alright, so at least I won't have to make three different pieces in this. Let's give in to the demands of Miria. A decision on which the fate of the world hangs in the balance.
give up the power of the brood and live in a peaceful world, watched over by the goddess, or believe in the power of the brood and travel into the empty desert, where unknown dangers await. Avatar decides to give up his power. Eh, yeah, this is obviously the wrong answer. I mean, the game is kind of... I don't know, I mean, you could definitely logic your way towards... This is one of the things I've been pointing out as, as an oddity of this game. There really hasn't been an overriding big threat to the world. It seems like the Avatar and his friends have had some adventures and all that, but by and large, everywhere they go, people are living normal lives. I mean, they're having normal problems. There's criminals. That, you know, mafia town over there. Um, Balio and Sunder weren't very nice, but they weren't exactly, you know, a threat to the stability of the world itself. It seems like uh, under the goddess's tutelage and care, things are not all that bad. I mean, you can live a perfectly happy life gathering sushi ingredients, but... I mean, obviously that's not the, the kind of ending that we want in an action RPG. So let's take what is clearly the wrong answer, and then we will pick it up. Carrying the fate of the world was too much for Avatar. If giving up the power of the brood will allow the world, oh, sorry, the world to stay the same, then that's best choice. Yeah, you can go back with Nina and live happily. Or... You have made the right choice. Avatar, that is true strength. Giving up your horrible power to protect the world. I'm proud of you, Avatar. Yeah, I just want to go live happily with Nina. Possibly with Momo, too. <laughs> Let us go, my Avatar. Oh, wait a second. I thought I was giving up my power and then I got to live a normal life. I... No, oh, hey! Avatar chose of his own free will to give up the power of the brood and stay with the goddess Miriam. So time passes. Eventually, an army of demons emerges from underground, like with Death Evans ending. Unchanging. Finn. Oh, well, there you go. So, I'm uh, frame skipping ahead. I didn't really understand that that's what the ending would entail. Okay, well, that was kind of a boring bad ending. Not as cool as, like, you know, you decide to let your mom stay in dragon form on top of the entrance to infinity to hold in the demons, and uh, you figure it'll just be okay for a while, but then eventually demons pour out and overrun the world. That was pretty cool. This was kind of... eh. So, um, that's it, folks. Uh, that was... I guess the bad ending. Um, yeah, I didn't get that. He, I thought he was giving up his power and then he could live in peace. I mean, the rest of the world stays good, I suppose. His friends are probably a little personally disappointed in him, but... Um, yeah, I mean, really, I wish that we could sit down and have a conversation with Pico, because this whole Yagrazil as a force fighting against Myria, not to mention uh, Dace, Dayus, Yus, whatever, as a force fighting against Myria, Oh, hey, check it out. A dragon, I don't know. A dragon! Oh, I don't know about this! I don't think I ever saw this, did I? Hey, it's Gary. Oh, come on. It's really high-quality stuff. Gary looks like a wolf man. Hey, it's really high-quality stuff, daddy. When magical, magical beings die, their bodies slowly transform into the ore known as Chris. Yeah, we never saw this, did we? This is like Breath of Fire 1. I saw the intro near the very end of the game. The dragons tried to destroy the world. <laughs> like Pete and the Inkblot guy. Yep, but a huge one, the one, daddy. Emperor Zog was in that war, wasn't he? And your sister? I sure wouldn't want him to be the dragon. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, but they're extinct now. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had no idea that there was this, like, extra stuff. Even legendary dragons, whose might shook the world. They took the world and shook the world, the sons of Hercules! Have death become a source of energy in the form of crystal. Well, that even the baddest beast, baby. Boys in the end, like everyone else, oh, they will die nameless in my hands, my white gloved hands. No one knows how or why the mighty dragons became extinct. Perhaps the legend of Dragoon would tell us the answer. If you know that LP <laughs> was done. You're carving on grass, buddy! Oh. Unless that's supposed to be like... Stratum of Emerald. This guy's gonna be really rich if it is. Holy this Sorry, this tale is dedicated to the dragons. Pull one out for the dragons. Man, I really need to get to bed. There we are, folks. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna load state and we're gonna... Pick up and see what happens if you don't give in to Myria's demands. Oh, you see? Check it out. It's That's like Myria's evil monster form from the first game. And you can see Gobi in the background. That was pretty cool. But we'll be back in a minute for more. See you then.